بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اما بعد اي الاحباب ما الله سبحانه وتعالى guide us in you and forgive us in you and bless us as a ummah as a community of believers to come together worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone and protect us from the evil of those people who wish the demise of the Muslims. Amin ya Rabbil Alameen. The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam said, No believing servant supplicates for his brother behind his back in his absence, except that the angels say the same be for you as well. Al-Imam Nawawi rahimahullah ta'ala commented about this hadith of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam by saying, This hadith makes it evident that one who prays for someone in his absence also stands to benefit from it because the angel appointed for the task of praying for those who pray for others will pray for him saying O Allah grant him also the same which he has asked for others Ayul Ahbab supplicate often for your brothers and sisters wherever they may be but especially in this time of great turmoil and crisis which our brothers and sisters in Syria are feeling our brothers and sisters in Afghanistan are feeling our brothers and sisters in Pakistan in the Central African Republic uh, in Burma in Syria and now the pain that we feel with our brothers and sisters being attacked and slaughtered and the violations of their human rights that are being trampled on by the Shia Rafida who since their inception as a sect and their plague as a sect upon the Ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that they have caused trials and tribulations for those people who follow the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam Ayyul Ahbab, supplicate for your brothers and sisters that they will be protected may Allah protect them and preserve them and grant them victory and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala repel the evil of the Shia Rafida forever so that we do not see one from them ever again in this life. Ayyul Ahbab, as we listen to the hadith of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, who said to supplicate for your brother in his absence. So when you see your brothers and sisters going through trials and tribulation, you should supplicate for them. And since we are not in a position, perhaps, some of us do not have the wealth to be able to assist their brothers through their wealth. And some of us do not have the physical ability to be able to assist their brothers and sisters with their physical presence. And some of us are unable to assist them in, other, in the various other ways in which it's possible to assist them. What we all have the ability to do is supplicate. So supplicate to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he protects them and he preserves them and he grants them victory and he blesses them with relief from this trial because these are people who have come from all over the world to do nothing more than study the religion of Islam and better themselves, better themselves as human citizens to contribute to humanity with righteousness because what other form of goodness and righteousness could be achieved in seeking knowledge of Islam and spreading that knowledge to others, the light of Islam to repel extremism, to repel evil, wherever it may be. And although they have this noble goal, of course they would be tested. But the test that they're receiving at the hands of people who have no mercy, who bombard women and children, who do not allow for the dead to be buried and collected, who do not, who do not see the masajid of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as sacred places, instead they bombard them. And shoot at them with weapons of mass destruction 
tanks, missiles. And these people are defenseless people who have not more than pencils and pens and books to defend themselves and whatever minimal weapons that the local populace have there. So ayil ahbab, supplicate for your brothers and sisters as this is the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and you have nothing to lose but everything to gain. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us because do not think that the Rafada will stop there. If they defeat Damaj, that they'll probably begin with the other places and raise their wicked head as the shaitan always does to spread their tentacles around other places of study. And then it will not end anywhere on the earth until that the Rafidi Shi'i will try to spread the blood of the believers. So supplicate that Allah repels their evil and the evil of their financial backers and the evil of the people who have nothing but who, who gain from the humiliation of Ahlul Sunnah and the bloodshed of Ahlul Sunnah. Pray against those people and that Allah protects the Muslims everywhere from their evil. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and protect us and our brothers and sisters everywhere. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.